Yes, I totally agree. This does look like a, a Mercedes C43. It's not. It's a C220 diesel AMG line premium plus on a 2019 19 registration with 17,000 miles on full service history in the awesome Designo metallic white. Today with the life price in this car is £28,510 and that is a humongous saving against list price. Now being the Premium Plus, it's got lots of extras, but another key feature on this particular car, it is the facelift model. So the facelift model gives you a few fine extras, which I'll touch on. The first thing you'll notice, it's got the upgraded headlights with the multi-beam LED headlights in there, daytime running lights, and you've got the nice little blue casing going on, individual crystallized headlights there, diamond grille, Front rear parking sensors, again being the facelift, the sort of grills and in the bumpers are slightly different. It just looks fabulous. Remember this is a convertible, but it's a four-seated convertible, so you can uh, get your friends and family in there and enjoy the car for what it's worth. With 194 brake horsepower, over 55 miles per gallon combined, it genuinely looks the part, but still gives you a great running cost. You've then got the upgraded AMG two-tone alloy wheels, which is diamond cut on the outside and high gloss black on the inside. They are 19 inch, and again, it suits the car. I always say bigger wheels are always better because they do, it finishes the car off ever so well. Other little features like the black strip down there in the, in the side skirt just look great. You've got comfort access, so as you walk up to the car, it opens up. As you walk away, you press the little button there and it locks for you. The canvas roof is dead easy to fold away, press a button and it does it in a few seconds. Don't need to mess about unlocking or unclipping anything at all. But then look at this, being the facelift model they've changed a few things. The obvious difference is the brighter ambient lighting which is in the door cards, door pockets and the full centre dash. You've then got the new style steering wheel with the aluminium switches in there, free spoke. And then you've got the larger, more wider screen infotainment system which again is so, more, so much more advanced, quicker and easier to use. Burmeister sound system, you've got heated seats and then you have air scarf uh, right next to it, which is the next scarf in effect. Just behind there, when the hood's down, it doesn't have to be down, but when the hood is down, it blows nice hot air around your neck, keeping you nice and warm. The extended leather with the white stitching, and remember on the inside, which I didn't touch on, you've got half leather and half Alcantara, but again, because the car's done 17,000 miles, it's in a fabulous condition, very well looked after. Somebody who wants a convertible, genuinely, it doesn't get much better. Because of the condition, because of the specification, remember it's premium plus, they literally bolt everything onto it, plus a bit more. In this case, being the fastest model, you're getting that sort of flamboyant ambient lighting in there, the wider screen. This one's then got the boot lid spoiler there, which is an extra, and that's done in black to complement the black strips down the side. You've also got the exhaust face is done in a matte black and the F1 style rear diffuser. LED style rear lighting system, but look at the boot, because it's important you see this. Because naturally, when you're looking at a convertible, you assume that you have no boot space whatsoever, very little. Well, in this case, when the hood is up, there's enough space there to put a few bags in there, enough shopping, certainly, luggages, whatever you need to do. But when the hood is down, you've still got enough space underneath and just in this area, so again, it, it's more than enough for a nice four-seated convertible. LED rear lighting system, as I mentioned, but you'll also notice, being the face of model, they've got a darker tinge. There's a dark tint to the rear lighting system as well, so it's a bit more different. Rear parking sensors, the normal air breathers around the bumpers, and you have got park assist, so the car does park itself once it finds a gap. You don't have to do much more with it, it manoeuvres itself. The seatbelt you might notice just folds away then. When you close the door, it gives you a helping hand. The seatbelt pulls forward for you, so you're not having to stretch too far, and it's easy to use then. As you get in, the first thing and the biggest thing for me on the face of the model is this centre cockpit. If you look around here now, this is completely changed. This is different to a 2017 model. The 2017 models didn't have this double digital dials, and you couldn't just do all this. This is, this is amazing. It's modern, it's crisp, it's just it's sharp, it looks awesome, it changes colour and you can configure it. The black ceramic square controls this side, this black ceramic square controls this side, so you can literally go that side and then look how big that screen is. It is absolutely amazing. Paddle shift, automatic gearbox, twin cup holders and two keys. Your normal USBs all over the vehicle, split folding armrest and then for the hood, push button start first of all, you literally, I'll close it off. You press one button, two seconds, there we go. 
and it doesn't take long, it's only a few seconds, and it does it all in no time. But it's, it's, it's nice, you can do it, I think it's literally about seven seconds is what it takes. But it's one of them cars where they look great when the hood's up, but they look even better when the hood's down. Now there's a switch in here, just to show you so you've got an idea of everything. This little switch here, so you can put all the four windows down together. That's for the hood, and you've got different options there, obviously. Your normal dynamic mode, where you call Sport, Sport Plus, Individual, Comfort, so you can change what mode you want to drive it in, because it does a stiff into the steering wheel, it shortens the throttle cable slightly, little things. But you know what, what more do you want? 17,000 miles, top of the range, being the Premium Plus, so the Burmester sound system, the upgraded alloy wheels. 28510 gives you an awesome, awesome car with great winning cost and it looks amazing. If you compare this one to other vehicles that are available, because I've, I've looked before we advertised it, some of them haven't got the wheels, some haven't got the black sections, certainly haven't got the boot lid spoiler. So for me, a car that looks as good as this, that delivers them sort of winning cost, it doesn't get much better. My name's Joe, my name and number's on the bottom of the screen. Give me a call, drop me a text, WhatsApp me, they're more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, bye bye now.